One question I get asked a lot is how to make a UI fade out. I'm going to show you very quickly how we can do that by manipulating the canvas alpha channel. So first up we'll create a canvas, just a straight panel and a button. And that button is just going to make our canvas fade out. On the canvas itself we're going to add from the layout menu a canvas group. Canvas script's awesome, it's got that alpha parameter there that we are going to adjust. We'll also add a new script that's going to hold the method that we are going to use to manipulate it. Alright, opening up the script, first thing we can do is get rid of uh, start and update. We'll create a new method called fade me. It's public and void, and it has no parameters. That's to let the button component hook into it. What that's going to do is start a coroutine, and the coroutine is going to be called do fave. We don't have a coroutine, so Unity is complaining. Let's write one now. Right, first thing what we're going to do is grab a reference to the canvas group. We're just going to do canvas group equals get component canvas group. You could use get component every frame, but that would slow your performance down. While it doesn't cost that much, it's not a good habit to get into. Alright, so we're going to start a while loop here. While the canvas group alpha is greater than zero, and each frame we're going to subtract a value from that. So we'll go canvas group alpha minus equal to time dot delta time. It just makes that frame rate independent. And we'll divide that by two. If you wanted to do this without uh, when the game was paused, you could use time dot unscaled delta time. Yield return null means it'll execute over multiple frames. Finally, we're going to set the canvas group interactable to false. Reason for that is if you don't set it to false, you'll still be able to click on buttons you can't see, and that makes no sense. And then the last, you'll return now. It's always useful to have those at the end of every coroutine, just in case nothing inside the while loop actually gets called. It guarantees that in all cases your function will return something. Now we'll add that canvas fade, fade me method. Click start, and there you have it. A fade button, which we click, and it fades our canvas out nicely. Thanks for watching.